Hi there, I'm Professor Blackmore and I want to welcome you back to my channel. And since it's that time of the year again, I also want to welcome you back to another episode in my podcast series entitled Woman Evolve, the Professor Blackmore com pre-show and I'm coming back to you today to answer one question which is did woman evolve into power moves well the power mover has moved in here this morning uh, I would say I don't know how she does it but that would would it mean that I was admitting that I was getting old so I'm not going to say that. I see it. I see it. I see it. But she's been on the road. She's getting ready to go back out on the road. But Pastor Sarah Jakes Roberts is in the house this morning. And she is going to be the Lord's ambassador in a few moments. And not only that, she's going to be signing her book in the lobby. Power Moves book signing is going to go on uh, in the lobby, and I'm excited about it, and I'm glad about it, and I want y'all to make her fingers. In addition to discovering whether woman evolved into power moves, we will also investigate the psychological monetization strategy involved in the messaging all around the entire Sunday church service on April the 28th, 2024, for the express purpose of selling as many books as they could, which psychological monetization strategy was built all around the word power. Somebody shout power. And if you know that the God you serve is filling you with power and might, if you know the God you serve is arming you with strength, I need you to clap like this. Come on. Hey. She wants your promise that if we would gather in your name, you would be in the midst. Let the throne of God expel every demon, expel every devil, expel every plot. Now, if there's one thing we do know, it is that these Potter's House people can sell anything, honey child. I mean, the minute one conference is over, they start the next day selling next year's conference. And they promo that event every Sunday until it rolls around again the following year. And they will write a book about a damn ham sandwich. And before you know it, they will have you going gaga for Google trying to buy whatever they're selling. I mean, they will trick you into thinking that the devil is conspiring against them so you can get bought into it and they'll have you fasting and praying and sewing into whatever they are selling. And then they will create a whole revival around the book and sell the book and then they'll sell tickets to the revival so they can sell more books and so on and so forth. I believe more than ever that we need real power. And so I'm taking this message. I believe that God's going to create revival in the cities that we're able to go to. And I'm asking you to pray for me, to pray for my team. So one of my team members was out doing a site visit. They got there, were in a car accident. Car was completely totaled. They came away from it unscathed, but then she got on the plane. The engine went out on the plane. She had to have an emergency landing. Another team member, her back is gone now. I'm telling you that we are under spiritual attack because I believe that when we begin to position people to move in God's power, that we will be declaring war on the enemy. And I am asking for your prayers to back Back us up in the spirit realm. I take this thing very seriously, and I want every devil in hell to know that the kingdom of heaven is at hand, that we will not back down, 
that we will not be afraid. Though he slay me, yet shall I trust in him. I believe that when this book is released, that there is going to be great breakthrough that lasts for generations after generations. I don't know about you, but I'm not going to let God's glory in with my life. I'm going to make sure there is an impartation of power. Everything that God has ever done in my life that had power on it, I'm going to testify about it. I'm going to write about it. I'm going to sing about it. So I expect all hell to break loose because I recognize that if you get a revelation of who I know God is, the chains will start breaking. The strongholds will come down. The generational curses will be broken. And if we don't move in power, who will? If we don't stand up and declare that a generation must arise and their enemies must be scattered, then who will? If we don't say, not me, not my house, not my family, not my church, then who will? And it's going to take an army of us to get it. So I'm going out to recruit a few people to join the army because we got a real devil to push back. We got real darkness to run up against. So I'm not waiting for anybody to come to us. I'm going out in the city to go to them. And I got to tell you, there's a few crazy people who have decided that they're not going to let their communities fall on their watch. They're not going to let their families fall apart on their watch. I have to tell you, I feel so much oil on this book, so much oil on this message. So I don't know who you are if your power has been under attack. I am asking you if you know someone whose power has been under attack, I want to remind you over and over again, even if you don't get the book, sometimes you just got to tell yourself, power moves, power moves, power moves. My power cannot stay trapped. My power cannot stay buried. Power moves, power moves, power moves. And who the Son has set free is free indeed. So if my power is stuck, that is not God. That that is the enemy waging war on who he knows I am to be in God. <laughs> now, I really love the part where she said, even if you don't buy the book, as if she's doing this 10 minute long infomercial just so we could not buy the damn book. And if you don't buy this book, your whole family, your whole church, and your whole community is going to fall I mean, there will be a great breakthrough that will last for generations all in this one book, honey child. And now once they get you hooked into buying the book by convincing you that there will be a great massacre on all mankind, then they build a whole book tour with built-in revival church services that you pay for all around it. And now in addition to the on-tour book revival that you have to buy a ticket to attend. You mean to tell me we're also adding virtual events with special guests? Well, the power mover has moved in here this morning. Uh, I would say I don't know how she does it, but that would, would it mean that I was admitting that I was getting old. So I'm not going to say that. I see it. I see it. I see it. But she's been on the road. She's getting ready to go back out on the road. But Pastor Sarah Jakes Roberts is in the house this morning. And she is going to be the Lord's ambassador in a few moments. And not only that, she's going to be signing her book in the lobby. Power Moves book signing is going to go on uh, in the lobby, and I'm excited about it, and I'm glad about it, and I want y'all to make her fingers sore. I'll, ru I'll rub them later. I'll rub them later. You'll be all right. I believe in divine healing. If you, uh, she's also going to be doing Power Moves tour virtual event so you can kind of keep up with her. In celebration of her new book, I'm very excited to announce Sarah Jakes Roberts is taking the Power Moves tour virtual. So whether you are in the city or outside of the city and you want to follow along, you can follow along with her while you eat a cheeseburger and some macaroni and cheese and still, still have a Power Move experience. It's not just her, it's also Dr. Anita Phillips. It's going to be Risa Tessa.
is going to be Lauren London and Jay Bolin, who is in the service this morning. Would you stand? So they're going to cover the waterfront on the tour. So you can scan the QR code and get registered right now and prepare to lay hold of the power like never before. The QR code is on the screen, whether you're watching online or whether you're here in the building and you want to keep up, you want to learn more, or you're getting ready to make a power move, or you just nosy. It. It, it don't make any difference. We, we're still, we're, we're here for it. Can you say amen? Well, Bishop. If you're eating a cheeseburger and macaroni and cheese, you ain't gonna have a power move experience. You're gonna have a bowel move experience. And with all of that cheese, it ain't gonna move. But I guess that ain't none of my business. And can somebody tell me why is it that Jay Bolden is involved in every church event? I mean, we can't forget that Brother Keon thought it was necessary to announce that Jay Bolin would be taking his second wife, Lady Felicia, on a shopping spree for her birthday before he divorced her ass to marry Lady Shawnee. <laughs> Allegedly. Well, Lady Felicia, we want to honor you and celebrate you. This is a gift uh, from the Lighthouse Church. They all got together. They all got together and got this for you, so we want to give you this and your shopping spree is paid for. Hey guys, it's Jay Bolin. Lady Henderson, guess who's going shopping with me? You are. Your husband has planned the most special day for you and I to go shopping. Um, I'm gonna take you on an all day shopping trip that's paid for by your husband. Yes, he's already paid for it. Everything is covered, girl. We're going shopping and we're gonna have a good time. So, happy birthday and I'll see you soon. Make sure you wear some tennis shoes because we have a lot of shopping. And so, I guess the thing to do is to have Jay Bolin involved some kind of way in your church event. Because I don't know what he has to do with making power moves. Oh, but I guess that ain't none of my business neither. So, they started from the beginning of the service messaging the word power so your spirit just wouldn't let you rest until you bought that damn book. Somebody shout power. And if you know that the God you serve is filling you with power and might, if you know the God you serve is arming you with strength, I need you to clap like this, come on. Hey. Can we do a little dance in the house of God today? You ready? Everybody rock this way. Now this way. Now you do whatever you want to do. Hey, everybody run this way. Now this way. Now let it breathe, okay? Here we go. Let me teach you this. Listen. Oh, 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 oh. Say it now. Lighting up the kingdom that cannot be shaken In the name of Jesus, every enemy is defeated And we will shout it out, shout it out Everybody say God is fighting for us, Push it. pushing back the darkness Lighting, lighting up the kingdom can't be. that cannot be shaken In the name of, the name of Jesus, every enemy is defeated And we will shout it out, shout it out I hear the name of Jesus. I hear the name of the Holy 
Remember that during Sister Sarah's 2023 Woman Evolve Money Grab, <laughs> oh, I mean conference, she apparently wrote a song called On Time God. And you are aware that they tried to sell the hell out of that by performing every remix they could create almost every Sunday after Woman Evolve last year. And so if you thought this Potter's House Power Party QVC show was only all about selling Sister Sarah's Power Moves book, then you better think again, because these Potter's House people thought it not robbery to also sell some copies of Sister Sarah's song, On Time God, as well. They're gonna sing just a brief section of an On Time God. I don't know if you can make that brief. Lord, because he is an on-time God, and I'm going to pray over your seed. I'll be right back. You online, I'll be right back. And prayer will reach you in whatever country, whatever city, whatever circumstance you're in. Prayer will find you right there. It'll meet you in the hospital. It'll meet you in the house with your house coat on and your scuffy shoes that's turned over in the back. God don't care what you got on. When God gets ready to bless you, he will anoint you anywhere. You need to get that gratitude, not just to thank you, not just an entitlement, but an attitude of gratitude. With such sacrifices, he is well pleased. And the shame came like a wave I just knew that I was too far gone Then you showed up Oh Lord You are the on time God You love the impossible On time God You love doing miracles, oh yeah, I see it all now, how your hand was always working, even in doubt, you were faithful, never failing, 
Even when I fall the darkness one you showed up Lord. Come on, let's lift this up together. Come on, say it. My hope is no way. Come on, church. My God, say my God is old tomorrow. selling some copies of Sister Sarah's song, On Time God, well, I bet you wouldn't be surprised to know that they got back on message with the Power Moves theme, because clearly the mission of the day is selling the hell out of the Power Moves book. right there. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let your power fall. When your name doubt is wrong that you're still mighty and strong so fight this battle for me and help my unbelief so I can tell all of my friends that you have won Again, shout that! 
somebody would do once and for all is to tell Bishop that his ass can't sing. <laughs> oh, but anyway, y'all, let me stay focused because after all of the psychological monetization, power moves, strategery was all said and done, I guess it was time for us to hear the word of God from the power mover herself. Well, she hails from the Appalachian Mountains in West Virginia, by way of Dallas, Texas, transported from the sandy beaches of California back home into Dallas, Texas, that she might speak a word of hope and health and healing and restoration. She's at home. Don't you let those outside people honor her more than you do. Stand on your feet and welcome Pastor Sarah Jakes Roberts. Can we just thank God for our bishop as he goes and takes his rest? Oh, family. I want to thank you. I love you too. I want to thank you uh, for your prayers that have been with me. Um, I don't know if you've ever obeyed God and figured out after you obeyed God that obeying God was going to be more expensive than you anticipated. And uh, as I've been on the road, we were in Houston on Thursday and Chicago yesterday. And child, Houston, I, I was nervous excited. That's what I call it, nervous and excited. Because uh, whenever you release something that is just between you and God and you put it out for the world, there's a level of vulnerability connected to it. And the last time I did this, it was during the pandemic. And so I was vulnerable, but I was at home, which I'm an introvert. So when I'm at home, I feel safe. But uh, this time we're out and the book is out and I'm outside and I was just feeling so nervous. And knowing that you all have been praying and covering me and just taking care of me, it really does mean the world to me. And let me tell you, God is answering prayers. We have had such incredible events. Can I just say, in addition to that, I felt it appropriate. I, I tell my husband this all the time and the, you know, our privacy in that home. But I am just so grateful that God has given me a man that has the capacity to allow me to stand in my power. Can you help me just acknowledge Pastor Teray Roberts, baby? I love you so much. I'm so grateful for your covering, your wisdom. Even when it doesn't look like I'm listening, I promise I am. <laughs> and I'm just grateful. He has suspended his world. He's got a leadership conference coming up, and he has put everything kind of on pause. He's like handling the leadership conference and my security and my spiritual covering and all of the things, and PR and all of the things on the road. And so thank you, baby, for making it look easy. I know it's not. I'm grateful for you. My subject for today is backed by power. <laughs> well, Sister Sarah, I'm, I'm glad you think that God gave you somebody else's man because I really don't think that how Pastor Toure dumped his first wife, Sister Lori, 
to seize his opportunity to marry into the Potter's House Empire had anything to do with God, baby girl. But I'll let y'all watch my podcast episode miniseries in parts 12A, B, and C so you can let me know what you think. And I guess Sister Sarah wants us to believe that Pastor Toure has so much going on in his life that he's handling her security and her PR. I mean, I guess she wants us to believe that his PR efforts were responsible for getting her on the Today Show with Hoda Kopti, but I guess that ain't none of my business neither. But I think what we can say after watching how power moves is that power equals money at the Potter's House. Nevertheless, on this channel, as you know, I just ask and I let this internet church house jury decide. And so, what do you think? I mean, do you agree that these Potter's House people can sell a ham sandwich at a hot dog stand? And do you think that they will come up with something else connected to this book that they can sell to launch directly into the Woman Evolve selling season? Please let me know what you think by leaving your comments in the comment section. And I hope you'll also give me a big thumbs up. And I hope you'll also consider donating to this video and my entire channel ministry by donating to the ProfessorBlackmore.com cash app. And I also want to ask that you please subscribe to my YouTube channel and set your notifications so you'll be notified whenever I come back with more hot tea from the church house, the courthouse, and everywhere else, honey child. And please also follow me on TikTok and Instagram.